Hello everyone. So let's hope that we reach 2000 subscribers soon because this is actually uh, my surprise for the 2000 subscribers for my channel. Uh, thank you very much for everyone to that subscribe to the channel that really means a lot to me and this is actually probably as you know i do uh, this in my free time uh, so i will probably uh, have more uh, ways to do this uh, like in a drop away if my videos get uh, more and more views and probably more subscribers so youtube finally decided to start paying for the time I do the videos but for now like I said I wanted to take to all my subscribers and I actually created a website uh, which is using using github uh, pages uh, I actually created a website uh, for my github and it is an open source github uh, you can of course I'm talking about this GitHub, which is my GitHub, like I said, it's full of law tutorials, is the name of the GitHub. And there are actually a lot of people that already start the GitHub. Uh, I have now, uh, there are like 34 people that already start the GitHub. Thank you for that as well. They are a bunch of people who actually fork uh, the GitHub as well, the repo, sorry, as well. So thanks for that as well and there are some people who are watching the github for changes so thanks for that as well so what i actually did is i actually start uh, github pages and like i said using uh, the github i actually created github pages and i only use javascript uh, css a and html and some python uh, for actually taking the code because uh, there is no way I think I can take the code uh, or the files using JavaScript itself. So that's why I use a little bit Python. So now there is like 80% of the repo it's Dart. Uh, there is a little bit of JavaScript, PHP as well, some PHP, uh, HTML, Python, and CSS. So my idea, like I said, it's to make the code even more accessible. So the website, it's uh, my uh, username in GitHub, which is bulgariamitko.github.io slash flow tutorials. So it's like basically uh, the same link over here. You just put my username in front, github.io, and then the repo uh, name. This is how usually uh fire uh sorry uh github pages works okay and now let me actually see, uh, show you uh, why i did this website uh first of all uh, let me go through the website so there is a uh, there is a menu there is a header uh, which is actually uh, sticked on the top uh, and like i said everything that you see over here you can actually see how i done it uh, by going to the JS code and go to scripts.js. Uh, this is actually uh, like around 250 lines of code uh, is my entire JS code uh, that uh, made it to work like that. Uh, and then uh, the first thing that I'm proud of is because I don't like the light mode, I really prefer the dark mode. So you can actually switch to dark mode uh, and I will stick with that. And if you refresh the page, if you switch to dark mode and if you refresh the page, it will actually uh, keep the dark mode uh, beating. The, this, is all, this is only made with uh, JavaScript uh, and it's actually storing uh, this inside uh your uh so it's storing like inside your session uh so if you're open this in uh, incognito mode for example in chrome uh, of course it will not save you uh the dark mode but if you refresh like i just showed you uh it will actually uh, or if you just open the website again it will actually save your mode so if it's a light mode or dark mode and the icon 
it's changing from a moon to a, a sun. So that's actually one of the things that I uh, made. And the, thing, the other thing, it's uh, I have my name here. So if you click my name, it will go to the home page. If you click tutorials, now it you uh you actually go to the page that you are right now so i'll probably remove that and i will put here how to use this website and here you will have actually the link to the video that i'm just recording right now that you're watching right now and then we have a search bar so the search bar it's also dynamic so if you want to search for my video called pdf for example you just write pdf and all the videos are hidden and only this video it's now show the one that you are searching for and you can actually uh, delete this now all the videos are shown are, uh, are viewed or seen and then if you want to if there are more than one video so CSV for example there is only one video for CSV but if you want to retrieve so if you want to retrieve for example uh, so if you want to retrieving so retrieving for example you have a bunch of videos uh, it's actually uh, i think only one video but there are actually different codes and that's why you have this video multiple times because there are actually different codes uh, uh, involving uh, the same video uh, and then as you can see uh, i get all the videos uh, and the other ones are hidden if you uh, click on the x it will actually close the search as well. If you search for something that it's not there, uh, it will actually not give you any videos. And probably I should put that there are no videos or something like that here. Uh, now that I think about it. But yeah, this is the first version of the website. So uh, so yeah, there will be uh, more updates in the future. And I will, if, I will make this website even better. So if you want to book me, you can just click on this link and you can actually go to my calendar page and you can book me from there uh, if you want to go to my youtube channel you can click over here and just go to my youtube channel uh, and then if you want to get the, to the github repo you can just click on this link and you go to the github repo so i'll probably in the future replace uh, my uh, calendar link with this link because this is actually I think more relevant for people because they're like uh, all the all the relevant links are already here so how this uh, so how this website is actually working uh, let me go to the juicy part so here you can see a list of my videos and uh, there are actually not all my videos and the reason for that is that not all my videos actually have a code related to to them uh, so here you will find only the videos that are code related and that I talked about uh, code some code and uh, the reason for that is that uh, here you have the video the title of the video and here you have the the name of the file uh, that is inside uh, github so if you actually go to github and if you want to search for the file which is for example this one it's download collection svc you can just write download and you can see the file over here so if i click on over it this is the file that you actually uh, see uh, and if you click on get code you actually will uh, you get uh, this pop-up which is actually you you actually see uh, the code itself and the magic here and why I actually created this website it's because when you when you uh, now you have the collection name and in my case here it's the collection name it's cars but if your collection name it's something else so let's imagine that your collection name is users for example you can actually change it to your collection name which is users and then uh, everything changes over here as well uh, in the code so that's actually great and looks like magically uh, it's all done by a uh, JavaScript like I said that you can see the source code hi uh, how I did it uh, and then we have the name so we have the fields and then we have the fields will be 
field uh, one and brand for example we have field two which is brand and for example my other field name will be let's say email so if i change this to email you can immediate, immediately see that this is also changed in the code as well so if i copy the code right now and you can just copy it from here or click on this button it doesn't really matter the both buttons are doing the same thing uh, and if i open my uh, photo flow and go to my custom app this is actually uh, custom action uh, so if you watch the video uh, you probably know about it uh, i recommend you to watch the videos uh, and then you can actually paste this over here and of course it's uh it's a saying that uh, i don't have the dependency uh, of the i don't have the dependency of the download but this is actually the package that i'm talking about that i'm using and you can actually add the package over here click on the green uh, line and you should actually uh, this error should actually be gone uh, because this is the package that i'm using uh, this is actually a brand new so let's say this this is actually a brand new uh, let's actually when you copy this of course you have to also make sure that the action name is the same as this name over here so when you save this uh and proceed parameter docs are sure you want to proceed yes i'm sure i want to proceed uh, and here i'm getting the error because i don't have the users record and the user records i don't have it because i don't have created any users so if you so keep in mind that the users when you create the users uh it is actually now, because this is a brand new project, I haven't actually connected to uh, Firebase. Uh, but keep in mind that all the uh, collection names are actually uh, should actually be with uppercase. So that's why when you go to the website, uh, when you go to my website over here, when you uh, write the collection name, it is automatically converted into, with the first case to be an uppercase so for example if i write cars i i'm writing it you cannot see that but i'm writing it with lower cases and automatically it is actually converting this to the first letter to be an uppercase uh, so like i said you can do it with users and then here i should not get right now any errors uh it's saying that i don't have the name i think i have the name no i don't have the name okay sure so i can add the name over here as a string and then add it like this and now i should not get any errors now uh, uh, this is actually how you copy and paste uh, the code so this is actually great because right now as i said you don't have to mess with the code uh, you can only actually do this uh, using those fields so just change the data in these fields and the code will be automatically uh, changed for you and then the, when you're done and when you save uh, your action now the second part is that when you go to your uh, when you go to your uh, code, let's say that I have a new uh, page, let's say my for example users or whatever you want to call it, and then if I go back over here to uh, the same code, the first step, like I said, is this one to get the custom action. The second step is actually to copy the widgets and now i have i actually done this so you can copy the widgets and go to the first column that is being created and then you can paste the widgets and now uh, you can actually see that those widgets are being pasted in my case there are only two widgets right now that are being pasted uh, but you already have uh, the button you already have uh the text of the button and you already have my uh my actions so you already have the action uh which is uh in my case uh it is actually uh, uh, request permission for the storage and because you don't have this storage uh, it's not uh, it's not copying it uh but you have already 
uh, here uh, the, you already have here uh, the custom action and the custom action name will be this name over here uh, and now uh, this is like I said this is not a very complex one you can probably do it yourself but the whole idea is that when I have my setup uh, in my videos it's actually great if you can copy the widgets and place it in your uh, further flow uh, for the flow page as well so this is the idea like I said now you can uh, go over here uh, like I said like I used in my videos uh, I used cars for example for uh, my collection name but you can use any anything else like uh, your collection name can be places for example uh, and now you have places you can copy it uh, and then you go to uh, you go to custom code actions new action and this will be the name of my new action and now I have places and of course it's complaining about places because I don't have places uh, in my uh, in my collection over here I don't have collection code places uh, over here but I can uh, of course I can uh, create it so if I created places with lowercase uh, and then just create it like that now uh, it should be actually I didn't save actually my custom action did I uh, so let me just place it again over here and now places uh, it's working so keep in mind I will actually do it now uh, because when you're writing custom code like I said the collection name should be uppercases and when you are uh, so let me just add that real quickly so save it yes and then uh, when you are actually uh, when I actually write my collection names I always write with lower cases so keep that in mind uh, just write them here with low cases without underscores and without uh, upper cases now uh, and here I will always uh, write it in the custom code with upper cases so yeah like I said uh, that's why I wanted to do this video keep in mind uh, there are only those videos right now and some are missing actually uh, but I will try to fix this in the future so all my videos that are that are there code in it you can actually uh, get it from here and there is actually uh, you can copy uh, the widgets that I used in my videos so yeah thank you very much for watching this video and I really hope that you like uh, the, the website that I created thanks bye bye take care